gentlemen, contest number two is four three-minute rounds of boxing in the super middleweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the white colored shorts trimmed with red. At the weight he scaled, 11 stone, 10 pounds, six ounces. He proudly comes from Telford, Shropshire, presenting Kieran Gray. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the black colored shorts trimmed with a red spangle and gray effect. At the weight, he scaled 12 stone, five ounces. His perfect, unblemished record this evening reads three contests, three wins. Presenting from Flixton, the undefeated John Putman in the boot, Telford. Timekeeper Barry Pinder from the Steel City of Sheffield, star referee in charge of the action. A warm welcome, please, for Phil Edwards from Preston for three minute round. To break, break cleanly and take a step back. Watch your heads in close. Touch gloves. Good luck. Big night for John Telford. Could very easily come off this show. Change camp during the uh, change change camp during the uh, preparation for it. Yeah, it's a bit of a hairy spell, wasn't Second it? Where I wasn't sure Round exactly one. if he had a gym to train at for this fight. So uh, let's see what he's put managed to put together in a few weeks. David Massey tweeted in, said his entrance was that long, the other fellas' tattoos have faded. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely jab there from Telford. What can we expect to see from him coming from the finest gym? Well, I would expect to see him using his jab more, stepping back and trying to walk him onto that right hand. Yeah, do you know, he just, he just looks a little bit more relaxed in there. I'll tell you what, he looks in tremendous shape. Yeah, he doesn't half whip it. Do you know, he, he, he went a right fat sod as well. He went out to, uh, to Australia, went visiting his mate Jamesy and... Uh, I say he come back and uh, you wouldn't have recognised him. He looked like uh, one. He looked like one of the birds off White Chicks. He was that big, and uh, I say the, the shape he whips himself into, like does a lot of personal training as well. He's looking for the opening there as well. So it's a lot more controlled, isn't he, than I've seen him in the past, John? I was worried he might get try and impress a little bit too much tonight, but. Looks like he's reined it in like you thought he would, so. Yeah, I think, I think one of the ways you can impress him, you want to impress Steve Mailer, is you, you know, do what he's been, do what he's been sh showing you in the gym and do what he's, if he's going to take his time to, to, to work on things with you and you know, possibly do things to, a little bit differently to previous trainers, is, is, is show him you can listen and show him you can, you can box to a plan. It's nothing more frustrating for, for trainers. You, know, you can work on something in a camp six, eight weeks, and then you get in there and you see you, know, you get the red mist, don't you, and the, the punches start going. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'm sure at some point John, John will... We'll, uh, we'll get in there and we'll, we'll trade hell for leather. Does love a punch-up. Like I say, Kieran Gray. I think, I think it's also very respectful of Kieran Gray. You know, lovely body shot there from John. Just picking his shots, just allowing himself that little bit of space. Little step back. Lovely overhand right there from Telford. Just boxing at range. You can only benefit from the sparring he's had down at that gym as well, can't you? I mean, he's got uh, Anthony Leak making a big impression at the moment. Just signed with Box Nation. Frank Warren coming on later tonight. Uh, he's got Dale Coyne, who I'm a big fan of, but can be very frustrating at times. But Dale seems to have hit his straps at the moment and improving every day. So John can only come on from that kind of work. Yeah, a lot of people are jo joining in and tuning in tonight. I've just uh, Team Stream Alex has just sent me a message. I'm going to save that one, mate, if that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll save that for one of the future fights. Just waiting to see who's going to be joining in tonight. We have sent a message to Floyd Mayweather, a good friend of uh, one of the boxers on the show tonight, Dr. Artif Daniel. I don't know if anybody's seen the video of, uh, of, 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 do of the doctor doing some shadow boxing in Floyd's hotel room. Had a fair bit of press, hasn't he, the doctor yeah, this week? He has, he certainly has. He's been on, he's been on, uh, he's been on Granada reports more than Fred the Weatherman, hasn't he, this uh, last few weeks? Nice and patient again here from Telford. Yeah, he's made a very generous offer of the doctor, which we'll uh, let you know about during his fight. The referee's not had to do anything, has he, this round? He's just, you know, he stood there and he's let the guys go at it. Fantastic round from Telford so far. Good round from John. Yeah, under control, following instructions and nice and calm. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter. What's the, what give him the face, can we give him the Facebook address? Because we're live tonight on Facebook as well. Yeah, fire away. I was hoping you knew it. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the Facebook address is uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook, Facebook 
forward slash VIP promotions boxing. And if that doesn't work, I think it's VIP boxing promotions. Yeah, so I think that might be the one. Facebook forward slash VIP boxing promotions. Facebook.com forward slash VIP boxing promotions. Thanks to the voice in my ear there. Ryan Doherty's tweeted in. Nice to have you with us, Ryan. Time's Mark Leach tonight. What, what time's Mark Leach fighting tonight? Corners, 10 seconds. Scheduled for 20 to 9, but we're running a bit late. Yeah, so so. Pro pro probably more Set like quarter out. past nine, mate. Round two. Chris Boxing 2411's tweeted in. Davey Gray be mine. Great song. Shane Dyer's tweeted in. Your Talk Boxing on Twitter at. Get the lyrics on the big screen, lads. That's there. That, you know, that's, that's one to, to ponder for Steve Wood in it one night. Yeah. Let's get it on there. You've all got to come out to something that's been on in a local Star Wars bar near you. What was your local, like the, the local classic song that everyone used to go to in your local pubs? Um, let me have a little think. To, to be honest with you, because obviously I, I, I lived away and I went living down south for four years. Um, Chas and Dave. My, my lo no, my local was a wheat sheaf and I used to put, uh, I used to put cast on quite a bit or I'd put, um, put a bit of a Oasis on because I used to, you know, get a couple of beers down me. I thought it was Johnny Ten Men and that and then I'd just take over the pub. Oh, do you know what? I'll tell you a story about the wheat sheaf as well. I used to have a fresh fish stall outside. So you'd be watching the football on a Sunday, you know, Super Sunday as well. Good jab from Telford though. I was just updating you on the prawns and crab sticks. And he, he, he used to be able to go out and get yourself a fresh portion of prawns, you yeah, know. Yeah, and cockles. Oh, and it's, oh, it's brilliant it was, mate. There used to be a guy come around the pubs in Royton just outside Manchester. He used to come around selling right, sea, yeah, they seafood used, sticks. Yeah, they used to do that in the Air and Hounds as well up near me and that they come around. The only problem was, uh, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what the temperature control was like. I'm not, I'm nice. not sure it would have passed too many, uh, too many tests. Lovely boxing again from yeah, Telford. Yeah, some lovely little uppercuts there on the inside, wasn't there? Nice head movement as well. Remember John's last fight where he got his opponent cancelled. He was boxed due to box on a Friday night. His opponent pulled, well, didn't turn up. So John got bumped to the next night and he was a bit flat, understandably. A lot sharper and a lot more on the ball tonight, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Do you know, he was tempted to pull off that night as well and uh, he, he went through with it. I'm sure he's glad, he, sure he glad he did now as well. Looking at the sponsors as well there on John Telfer. He gets a lot of support from a lot of local companies. God Arden's son, good friend of his, Jimmy Mertz. No, Jimmy Mertz, his dad puts a little bit of money in, as does his mum, CVSL. Naughty North on there as well. Another Manchester clothing brand. They give, they give John a few, a few track suits. AJK, the vehicle recovery. That's Tony's company, based just outside of Warrington. And you'll also see on there as well, let's get wired. Chris Wood, Mike Layla, a couple of lads who put... Put the money where the mouth is. They, they they support John. Good friends of John's. Good friends of mine as well. You also see Kinsella tax on there. Kev Kinsella. He'll be here tonight somewhere. Blood coming from the nose there, Kieran Gray. I think that's the accuracy of the jab and the backhand as well, isn't it? And a couple of uppercuts have got through yes, as well. Yeah, the Telford's looking good here. I, I know you'll be watching me back, John. I'm sorry I sounded surprised. But he does sometimes tend to get involved too much and rush or, or the opposite stand off. But tonight he's a good pace from the start, hasn't he? He's picked everything nicely. Yeah, the, the head movement, he's moving from the waist, he's moving from the hips, he's avoiding shots. He's got his hands up, he's not taking anything unnecessarily in there. And he looks like he's got loads left in the tank. And this is, the, you know, that, 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 that's been the big problem for me, for me, for me, John. I don't know if it's nervous energy. I don't, I don't know what the issue's been. Two rounds in. Comfortably won both rounds for myself. Get the tweets coming in, guys. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. We'll keep banging the trivia questions out. Matty Magic Mayo, Triple M Boxing. He said, great live stream so far. Hope to be on one of your shows in the future. Great to have you with us, Matty. I know there's a lot of people have, uh, have talked about you turning professional. I know you do uh, very busy on social media. Hope the, hope the amateur career is coming along all right, Matty. All the very best for the future, mate. What's got did Chelsea finish? Hashtag Bonus, VIP Boxing Live. Times. You want to tell me how to score Chelsea finish 2 0? Luke Madeira just told me. He just lost out on a, a three season ticket to watch VIP Boxing there. Round Rundocky. three. Round number three for John. John Telford in the grey trunks with black trim. Kieran Grey, white with red trim. Got a feeling John might step it up here these next two rounds. Yeah, yeah, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? He's Clearly on top, he's he's got the keys to 
make a bigger impression on Gray. You know, the straight shots are working, the uppercuts he's throwing there are working. Lovely combination. I don't, do you know, and there is actually a story about John. They, they, they put him in the boot um, moniker, shall we go with. Um, I can't say it on air because he might get in trouble, but there is a story from Boxing Day. John, if you ever get a chance to interview him, he's asking about the story. Somebody did get put in the boot, but uh, I probably shouldn't have just said that. So, if John, if you... Uh, Oh, that, was, that was our trip we used to do you know what Hollingworth Lake is just outside uh, Rochdale no Sunday nights we used to go for a night out up Hollingworth Lake a couple of cracking pubs on the lake good night out yeah we used to get someone to drive and inevitably one or two people would end up in the boot of was the car it? coming back yeah was that that mean it had been a good night did it John oh, it was, yeah. Luke Badir is absolutely bricking it there sitting <laughs> at the side I'm just looking at him there as you're telling that story about people going in the boot we used to drive back across a couple of shortcut was for local golf course so being in the back of a boot going across a golf course at here we go now Kieran Gray the inevitable on a Sunday started. night really letting some shots go there Telford just like he's dropping that left hand again there bad habits creeping in there from John let's stay switched on John Kieran Gray yeah he's feeling the pace Kieran isn't he he seemed just gasped then face is a bit reddened up yeah, I don't, I don't think it was a great pace that, that, that was set, but it was a pace that John Telford set, and like I say, you know, he's, uh, he, he worked Kieran over in the first two rounds. Got a little disagreement there with somebody ringside, oh, he slipped on something. <laughs> Round number three tonight, 12 fight card. Steve Wood, VIP promotions, VIPboxing.com, Facebook.com forward slash VIP Boxing Promotions. We're live everywhere tonight. Get us on HBO. Get us on Showtime. I tell you, what, Telford, just at the start of the round, he went back to his old ways of not moving his head after he punched. If you watch the last couple of minutes, every time he's thrown a jab, he's just slipped to the outside. Completely different. It makes such a difference. Gray's done nothing. Lovely jab straight down the middle there. Just that one, one little key of just moving your head after you've thrown a punch. Just took Gray's a big left hook there. Exactly. From Gray. He didn't move it. He just jabbed and came back with his head straight up and took a left hook. Easton Venables has tweeted in. My eyes are getting weary, my back is getting tight. Little cheeky song lyrics there. Kieran Gray's just forcing the pace now. It's the first time John's had to go on the back foot. Good pressure from Gray. Little cheeky turn there from Telford. There we go, end of the third round. Another Telford round for me, but it was a lot better from Kieran Gray in there. A little bit more competitive. Yeah, Gray just started to have a little bit of a go then towards the end of the round, didn't he? Um, Telford just needs to get back on his jab and do what he's been doing for the first couple of rounds and see this one out. John Worrell's treated in. Nice to have you with us, John. He's enjoying the commentary and he's looking forward to bringing on Lee Sharpie Oldham. Lee's also going to be doing a commentary tonight. Steve Mannion wants me to tell the story about John Telford and somebody going in the boot on boxing there. Can't do it, I'm afraid. May get called as a witness. Last round, Phil Edwards just asking the guys to touch gloves. VIP Boxing Live, 12 fights. Going to get Steve Lillis in here as well, get him to do a couple of fights with us as well. Yeah, still to come, we've got uh, Lee Oldham Corners, fighting uh, ten seconds. Kevin McCauley from uh, Brighton, Omar Dusri taking Second Craig round. Derbyshire. Fourth Omar was really good last round. time. Lee Carter at heavyweight fighting Zeko Zekov, Mark Leach, Brett Fido, Bill Al Reckman. One of the knockouts of the year last year on a Kieran and Farrell show, a big uppercut, yeah, Bill Al. He's fighting Fons Alexander, uh, Anthony Leek, Lecky fighting Theodore Lozanov, the doctor, Dr. Hitman, Liam Griffiths, Luke Evans, one of Box Nation's one to watch for 2017. He's on, he's fighting Ibra Riaz, Charlie Schofield, one of VIP boxing's most improved fighters of 2016. And then we've got Liam Taylor uh, returning from about a year out, taking on Angel Emilov. He's uh, headlining the bill, probably sometime around 11.15. We hope. Was watching there, Kieran Gray. He's, like, he was laughing there with John. I think he's enjoying himself in there as much as you can enjoy being thumped for a living. It's been a controlled performance from Telford in there. Yeah, in, in the third round, a couple of you know, a couple of the, the, the errors sli did sleep, did, did uh, slip in. I don't know what they did. There. I think it was slipping in somebody's like slip DMs. Then weren't they? <laughs> they slipped and seeped at the same time, didn't they? Yeah. Gray's just having another go, he's looking to let them big looping hooks go. Spoke to a good friend of John's after the last fight, and I said, you know what, you know, it was an exciting fight. You know, when he was in there, I think it was Dean Gillen, I think was the opponent, and I said to him, you know, what a good fight it was. And he turned around and said, it's not when it's my best mate in there, and you know, you're watching, you know, he's going through, 
going through hell at this stage in his career and I think tonight that's what he's done he's tidied it up he's tightened up his, his boxing he's, he's shown the jab let some one twos go and he looks like he's probably got the most in the tank that we've seen in his professional career in there tonight I think that's the biggest difference I've noticed just slipping outside Gray's jab making him miss a lot there has been times when he's left his head banging the middle like that but for the most part he's slipped to the outside well a lot yeah, a, little nod of, a little nod of acknowledgement there from Johnny uh, got through with the right handed Gray so for just looking at getting back on the jab again now see this fight out remain unbeaten get another fight date a minute to go in this last round what do you make of a setup in here tonight yeah, it's very impressive. I know they've, uh, they've, got, they've got a couple of big screens for the crowd as well. They've got the, they've got the walkout ramp. They've got the the, uh, the hydraulic lift to get you there. Huge screen for the boxers to come out with. We've got cannons. We've got smoke machines. You know, it's. Uh, it, it, I think I, I think it's great for the. You know, for the. I know we're saying it's not a small old show, and it's it's not a small old show, but it helps you know the crowd get involved and you know a bit of audience participation with a few walk-on songs. I think you know it can only be good for the lads, and you know they want to come back. You want to have a good night when you're at the boxing. The yeah, crowd are getting a really good view of that horrible cut on the back of Kieran Gray's head at the moment on the big screen. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gushing. It must have come from an elbow, possibly, or a clash of heads, that. You'll be glad for this fight to be over. Get patched up and get back on the motorway. Last few seconds of the fight. Telford's got every round on my card. The third round was a lot closer. There we go. Steve Maylett looks a happy man in there as well. Just got to give a, a give a little mention as well to Michael Watson. Um, I know Michael and a, a friend of his was uh, was attacked while they were in a car. Um, don't know the exact details. I've just read the story that was reported on Boxing News. They believe it was a, an attempted carjacking gone wrong, and, and I, I know Michael's been hospitalised. So, we're sending our best wishes to Michael Watson. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live, let us know what you thought of that fight. Looking around at ringside, we've got Curtis Gagano, we've got Jimmy Merch, well known. Around, helped out a lot of boxers out. He's wearing his uh, Moncler bin bag. We've got Creme de la Creme, Andy Kremner, wearing a terrible, terrible pair of jeans with turn ups on. We've got Paulie da Silva from Black Flash Promotions, Steve Lillis. Good turnout here tonight at uh, Victoria Warehouse. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of super middleweight action, star referee Phil Edwards has adjudged this particular contest. 40 points to 36 points for your winner. Up in the boot, John Tucker. Let's hear it for Kieran Gray.